Hello everybody and welcome back to the second part of the Sexuality and Image series. Um, today we are going to be addressing homosexuality. So here we go. Homosexuality is a romantic or sexual attraction or behavior among members of the same sex, situationally or as an enduring deposition. As a sexual orientation, homosexuality is considered to lie within the heterosexual homosexual continuum of, homo of human sexuality. Um, and refers to an individual's identity based on those attractions. The prevalence of homosexuality is difficult to determine accurately. Studies suggest between 2 and 20% of the population exhibit some degree of homosexual sensibility. Though in many cultures, homosexual relations have been prevalent. Homosexuality is widely encountered in the animal kingdom as well. Throughout history, individual aspects of homosexuality have been admired or condemned, according to various societies' sexual norms. When praised, those aspects were seen as a way to improve society. When condemned, particular activities were seen as a sin or a disease. And some homosexual behavior was prohibited by law. Since the middle of the 20th century, homosexuality has been gradually delisted as a disease and decriminalized in, early all, in nearly all developed countries. However, um, the legal status of homosexual relations varies widely by country, and there remains some judications in which certain homosexual behaviors are crime with severe penalties, including death. Many homosexual people hide their feelings and activities out of fear of disapproval or aggression. They are commonly said to be closeted. Mainstream media uses homosexuality as comedy. Um, I think that it's okay to laugh at it, um, but it's not okay to really take it seriously. And uh, that's honestly how I feel because you have name one, honestly, one gay man that has played a gay mainstream role, dramatic role, and has been you know, put in the mainstream for it. I can't think of anybody. I can't think of it. You know, yeah, some people are thinking, well, Brokeback Mountain. Well, you know, yeah, Brokeback Mountain. You know, that's all fine and dandy, but let's be honest, if the, if the two actors who were in that movie weren't in it, the movie probably never would have been made or it would have been some obscure thing that nobody would probably ever see. I mean, let's be honest. Um, when you think of openly gay shows, the first one that comes to my mind is Will and Grace. And yes, there's Queer as Folk and The L Word, but those shows aren't, you know, not everybody has HBO or Showtime or, you know, whatever channel they're on. Um, so, you know, I'm talking about mainstream. There's Will and Grace, which, you know, they don't, you know, Grace, it's, the show is about Grace, really. Um, Will never really has a serious relationship in the, sh in the show, ever. He just came out of a serious relationship. You never see him in a serious relationship. He's with a guy for maybe, maybe six or seven episodes, and then they broke up. The only one that has a constant boyfriend or long-term boyfriend is Grace. And it feeds into that. Can't hold a real romantic relationship. Can't, you know, is more promiscuous. Is this, is that. Then they have Jack, which, yes, it's funny. Don't get me wrong. I love Will and Grace. But it feeds into that stereotypical identity. And it does more hurt than it does good. And I wanted to read uh, something else to you guys. Um, in the United States, the FBI report that 15.6 of all hate crimes reported in 2004, 15%, okay, were perceived, were based on perceived sexual orientation. 61% of these attacks were gay men. 
Okay. In 1998, murder, the murder of Matthew Shepard, a gay student, is one of the most notorious incidences in the United States. Still. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. You know, it's... People think that it's innocent fun. And, you know, saying, oh, that's so gay. You know, it it's ridiculous and it pisses me off because our generation has the opportunity to stop this. You know, when, you know, the old you know, thought process goes out the window. It's time for us as the youth of America, you know, we're going to start having kids or we have young kids. We need to stop these things that embed into our children that being who you are is wrong. We backpedal our, all the time. We're a pe- we, we are a society that backpedal on everything that we do and everything that we say. We say we want peace, but we run into a thoughtless war. Okay, we we say we, you know, it's a land of the free, but we put limits on who you can love and who you can marry and who can adopt children and who's right for this and who's right for that. We are a society that backpedals, you know, and hate is taught. Hate is not instinctive. I don't care what anybody says. You can put a black child, a white child, an Indian child together, and they will play together and they will not care what the fuck color each of them are. You know why? Because it's not important to them. It becomes important when the parents or the family or a friend tells them it's taught, it's racism, it's discrimination, it's hate, and it's ruining our world. And people think, oh, well, you know, gay marriage is going to fuck up this and, you know, lesbians are this and it's not right and it's, I don't want to look at it. Well then, close your eyes. You know, this is the 21st century. We are not the same. Okay? We are all different, but we should all be equal. I'm not a second class citizen. I pay just as much fucking taxes as everybody else. And I deserve to marry who the fuck I want to marry. I should have the right to adopt the hundreds of thousands of millions of children who need a home. And you're going to tell me I can't adopt because I like dick? That is so close-minded and so fucking ridiculous to me. That just blows my mind. And, you know... Hollywood wants to act like, you know, it's no big deal. And, you know, they have the celebrities doing the rallies and, you know, pro-gay marriage. And that's all good. But why not work on something, work on a movie, work on a television show that's going to actually express what's really there and not just make it, you know, something to laugh at or something to have fun with. But make it serious. Make it serious. You know, and the only one that has done that was Ellen when, with her show. And then the show got canceled because people don't want to see it. But people need to realize that homosexual people are not going away. They never will. And, you know, to people who abuse and to people who have killed people for being gay, it doesn't matter how many gay people you kill. It doesn't matter how many gay people you beat. Because there will always be gay people. There will always be lesbians. There will always be bisexual people. And nothing anybody does can change that. And stopping same-sex marriage and stopping, you know, gay people from being able to adopt in certain states, that's just prolonging, you know, the homophobic, you know, your agony. Because your homophobia is going to die with you. You know, unless you pass it on to your kids, it's going to die with you. But the gay people are going to continue. They're going to continue to be born. We're going to be here. And it's not going anywhere. And we're here to stay. And that's just the way it is. That's homosexuality. It's public image. (laughs) I'm a little fired up. But blessed be to you all. Um, next week, we're going to talk about bisexuality, love and life.